you know, I've got two little boys, they're six and eight, and I think about my teenage years, and when I was having my existential crisis last year, I was literally thinking about their teenage years that were gonna be, you know, in eight to 10 years, and thinking all the things that I used to do, and, you know, my first car, and all these things, and I thought, it's very unlikely they're gonna have a reality anywhere near what I experienced. Um, do you think about that? And how do you get your head around that? And do you know people that agree with you? I think about it. I talk about it with my kids. Uh, I definitely know their future is going to be different from what we experienced. How? It's not obvious. A lot of it is up to us, but it's not going to be the same. Okay. And so we're mid-24. You know, maybe we're looking at two to three years before we see something that qualifies as AGI. I think that's probably reasonable. Um, I know I asked you earlier, but maybe I'll ask you kind of as we conclude. I mean, I guess we don't know how this plays out, but you know, you alluded earlier to the fact we could see these kind of 70, 80, 90% unemployment pieces. You know, it feels like they're gonna be these kind of major events that'll start to really open people's eyes. Probably like Hugo said, they'll be adopted by politics and they'll be the pushback. Um, you know, have you thought even to yourself what some of these events might look like, you know, whereas, you know, this happens and this happens and this happens where it's clearly artificial intelligence almost gone too far where the public starts to wake up. You must think about that sometimes. And, and if so, you know, what, what do you think some of those events might be? So I think about it retroactively. I think if 10 years ago, somebody told me that we have AI as capable as the latest model, whatever you want the model to be, doesn't matter. GPT-4, Claude, doesn't matter. I would tell you, we definitely already have it. We have AGI, it can do programming, it can do translation, it can do all those amazing things. And so the world would be completely changed by that. But there is a difference between having access to technology and actually deployment of that technology. We saw it uh, with video phones. I think AT&T had video phones in the 70s. Nobody had them, nobody could afford them. It took until iPhone for everyone to do video calls. This could be the same. It could take a long time to actually deploy this in society. Even if we create AGI or superintelligence for strategic reasons, it can decide not to act in any malevolent ways for a long time, accumulate more resources, have more of a dominance, more strategic advantage. So it easily could be decades before anything really bad happens. Or it could happen in a weekend. Maybe it already happened and we're in a simulation. I watched Terminator 2 recently through the lens of post chat GPT and uh, there's a point where they talk about where Skynet kind of like, it, I kind of got intelligent and then it was like a certain number of days later, three days later, it, it like finally shut everything down. And it was just a reminder of exponentiality and how just we really can't conceive of how fast something could develop and grow and learn and then be over. So, you know, yeah, I, I appreciate what you're saying. It could take decades, but it also could take microseconds. And we're not sure what to look for. If there was super intelligence in the world right now acting in this world, how would we expect it to be different? What changes would we expect to see immediately? That's what makes it so hard to test, debug, monitor those systems. Could be in that simulation right now. We probably are. Don't think we are, do you? I wrote a paper about how to escape from a simulation, so I take it seriously enough. From simulation? Well, I'm still here, so clearly it didn't work. <laughs> um, doctor, uh, I really appreciate your thoughts on this. Um, I really appreciate the fact that, um, you know, you unabashedly assert that this is happening. And uh, I think more people need to be talking about this. Um, and so I hope people listen and learn and take what action they can. Um, because it really feels like that movie right now, Don't Look Up and Nobody's Looking Up. Um, every now and then I look up, and then sometimes I actually find myself not looking up again. And so I can see my own humanity in myself that's not rational, but this is coming. As they say, it's in the post, and um, it's gonna change this world in a way we've never seen before. So um, I hope more people listen to this. I hope we can find some solutions to this going forward. Um, appreciate your time. If people wanna follow you, learn more about you, and uh, get a copy of your book, what's the best way? I'm on Twitter, I'm on Facebook, follow me on social media. Please don't follow me home, very important. Uh, book is on Amazon.
go. Uh, it's called AI, unexplainable, unpredictable, uncontrollable. Uh, doctor, thanks so much for your time. Really appreciate it. And uh, thanks for telling us what uh, the future could look like. Thank you so much for inviting me. I hope we can do it again in two years. So Jim Rickards has just recorded a video that's not available to anyone in the public, and he's going to be talking about how this upcoming recession is going to be fast, it's going to be bloody, it's going to be nasty. But at the same time, he's going to show you how you can position yourself to profit from all of this chaos. Now, we've made this video only available to our viewers. Go to LondonReal.tv forward slash Jim. Watch that immediately. I can't say enough good things about Jim Rickards. He understands the global economic system better than any guest I've ever had on London Real. His predictions are almost uncannily true, and you can learn how to profit from his vision, from his expertise, and his understanding of economics. So go to LondonReal.tv forward slash Jim or click the link below. It's an excellent, excellent look on what's going to happen in the future and how you can position yourself to profit from that. Jim is one of the best in the business one of my favorite guests on London Real, and he's very, very good at predicting the future and showing us all to profit from it. So click the link, and I hope you enjoy. Hey, it's Brian Rose, founder of the DeFi Academy. I've told you my four-week crypto bootcamp is amazing, but don't take my word for it. This is what my students are saying. The DeFi Academy was an amazing experience for me. It took me totally out of my comfort zone. In this course, I was challenged. I was held accountable and push to do things that honestly weren't always easy. It's been phenomenal, and I can't believe uh, we're already up on our four weeks. It has flown by. Going through this DeFi accelerator by far was one of the best courses I've taken. You do this course, you really get into the nitty gritty of the activities that will make you comfortable with decentralized finance. Thank you so much to Brian and everyone at London Real and the DeFi Academy for even putting together an amazing course like this. Anybody else that wants to do it, please sign up. It is well worth the money.